okay uh, welcome all of you so in this video we will talk about uh, uh, this uh, very like uh, this clothes like what if we are what we are wearing generally so it's able to detect this muscles activity so as we know we have various smart wearable devices like smart watches or fitness trackers and all and it can detect your physical activity uh, and uh, especially what the heart rate, SpO2 measurement and all and this kind of measurement but again this is based on IR which is infrared okay it is also very accurate but definitely having some kind of uh, error possibilities but what if um, if we say like you have these variable devices with a bioelectric measurements and uh, this bioelectric measurement is a little bit more uh, you know um, more close to uh, perfect result than in IR based devices and uh, this uh, is done if um, if we able to put such kind of bioelectric devices or bioelectric uh, you know circuit or bioelectric measurement features on a wearable clothes so you just imagine what kind of uh, smart clothes we have and we then further we don't need such kind of fitness tracker and smart devices smart wearable devices uh, smart watches like i'm saying uh, clothes is also become the smart devices so here we'll talk about the smart devices which is not devices and actually it is a smart fabrics what we can say so these are the smart fabrics smart fabrics and what and how they design these biology features because see whenever you do any physical activity or any muscular activity like the way i'm you know moving my head or the way i speak each and everything so it's only possible to do the movement of muscles and we know the movement of muscles which is only possible when the kind of signal is from the brain or from the cns central nervous system they transfer the signal to the muscles and then muscles take our actions and movement and these uh, uh, muscles movements is leads to the uh, change in uh, potentials electrical potentials so each and every movement of your body is associated with this change in electrical potentials also these electric potentials are very minor uh, in some of the cases even if we can't detect you know, such kind of small electrical potentials but due to the advancement of this nanotechnology we able to now detect such kind of a small movement and this small movement can be correlated with your uh, you know uh, heart rate or with your you know uh, even muscles movement tracking so we can correlate if uh, each and everything uh, by measuring such kind of potential changes so what the scientists have done the scientists are utilizing this but uh, but only one concern they have actually they need uh, they want some kind of material which because they want to put over the clothes now this clothes it should be always attached with your skin so it should not create any kind of allergic responses or any kind of because each and every person have some different uh, you know um, the uh, physiology so the gold is one of the answer to each and every uh, this question because we know the gold is very inert material so gold will gold will not react with the skin even any kind of skin nearly any kind of skin 100% we cannot say because uh, always uh, door is open for new uh, new events so uh, we don't know but uh, about about like close to the 100% so many people doesn't have any allergic responses towards gold few people may have if they have some kind of genetic uh, problems or genetic mutations and all but otherwise in general it's not so what happened so they do that and then further this gold uh, so uh, they use these gold patches or this uh, gold lining which is able uh, over this uh, over this uh, clothes any kind of clothes and which is in attachment or which is in uh, in contact with the skins now between the clothes and this gold there is a silver also uh, there is a silver lining also and why this is silver lining is just for this conductivity gold itself is also very good but the kind of circuit or kind of bioelectric electrode what we needed so we can't do with the uh, gold because gold is attached with the skin so we use this gold for the skin and whatever the potential changes happening in the skin they uh, you know the the gold capture those things and transfer to the silver and where those miniature electrodes or nano electrodes are is present or embedded and from there 
they measures this kind of electrical changes so in that way the circuit is completed in that way they able to detect such kind of potential changes over the bodies and uh, this is useful how this useful again especially in the military warfare especially and uh, you know some kind of uh, sports activities because only these kind of activity which having very huge changes where we need to keep track of their uh, you know uh, heart rate their breath rate and other physical uh, responses because we just need to take a precaution because the, where the body get to the edge during the sports activity during this military activity where we need to keep a body safe and for that we need to measure it or track their body activity each and every time so we can understand okay where this body is in danger or whether it is out of danger so especially these activities sports activity or any kind of activity where these physical exercise or physical uh, activities are very intense on those uh, persons these kind of variable fabrics are very important variable clothes are very important which able to detect their physical movement and their vitalities so uh, because in that way we can keep the people safe so so that is uh, one of the step where the people have put forward and uh, develop such kind of smart clothes but only one concern again here which maybe need to develop like what kind of measurement is possible with this uh, bioelectric uh, variable fabrics or variable clothes so that is the one question like definitely heart rate will be there but apart from that what kind of uh, measurement people can do uh, like even if it is a physical like which kind of vital activity we can measure it and what is the error rate like uh, like definitely each and every detections or diagnosis may have some error rates so what are those error rates so in that way we can think of it and uh, we can develop our design and we can uh, uh, you know we can develop such kind of uh, wearable fabrics or wearable uh, close so it is a good it is a good step and then there is a further new optimization may needed so uh, for this video that's it for now and if you need a further detail on that like how things goes on like how things are possible you know conceptually or something so you can dm me and then uh, we will see like how we can proceed and uh, for so we will meet in another video some another topic so uh, till then bye bye take care